Today I will show you the web form feature that we have incorporated into our SMB tool. With web forms, you can capture leads and contacts from different sources on the web. To access web forms, we'll start at our home screen. Under Marketing, we'll click on Web Forms. You can access all of your web forms through this page. To create a new web form, click the plus sign. This brings up the web form designer page. By default, the name is opt-in form, but you can change it to anything you'd like. So I'll add April 14th. Now you can choose a group that you want to associate this web form with. You can choose multiple groups for a single form. So I'm going to choose Career Class and Fancy Food Conference. Next, you can choose your source value from the source drop-down list. We're going to call this Web. And then under Assign, you can assign a sales rep. I'm going to choose Manu Das. This will assign all of the leads coming in from this form to the chosen sales rep. From the auto response drop down list, choose an email template. This email template will be needed and used in the response email that is being sent to the end users who submit their information through this web form. So I'm going to select thanks. In the return URL field, enter a URL where users will be redirected at their web form submission. So I'm going to redirect them to our home page. So I'm going to type www.softfront.com. Down below are the fields from your web form. To add a new field, we'll just click on an existing field and then click on insert. Here you can select the type of field you'd like to add. So here we'll add company and we'll give it a label. We'll call this working and we'll give it a size. We'll change it to medium, leave it required and click OK. You can also rearrange your fields by clicking on the left and simply dragging and moving them around. You can also remove fields that you no longer wish to have by left clicking and choosing remove. On the left, you can change the colors and the fonts. If we had a header, we could change the background color and the font. Once you are finished, click save and this will save your web form. Then we can go back to the web form page that lists the one that we've created. We'll click refresh. And there's April 14th. Now you'll notice that four icons appear on the left. These are unpublish, generate, preview, and delete. That is how you create and manage your web forms. If you need additional support, please click the help button at the top right and submit your message.